This never ends well for the people that go out with cameras and flashlights, does it? Ooh. What do you see? Those are eyes. It could be a Sasquatch. You guys want to see something really scary? No. Yes, you do. Come on, let's go down to the river. <laughs> I don't know if this is such a good idea. Oh, I'm about to show you guys the scariest thing you have ever seen. I've been thinking about this all day. I found one earlier, but at night, it'd be a whole lot better. So where are you really taking us? To the river. What? You know, rivers at night can be really pretty scary. So what we're going to do is go all the way through the deep dark woods and down to the river. Let's find some creatures. <laughs> Ooh. What do you see? Eyeballs. Where? You see that way out there? Where? <gasps> Those are eyes. Let me see if I can see that on camera. What is that? Mario, what is that? Oh, I can't see him on camera. Mario, what? wildlife biologist, identify, identify. Those are eyes, guys. Uh, well, most logical oh. thing is a deer, but we are in Bigfoot territory. It could be a Sasquatch. Come on, let's go that way. We're Wait. being watched, guys. We're being watched. Mario. We're being watched. I can see the eyes. Oh, man, there's like a creepy old shed out here. Yep. You don't want to go in the shed. I think we've seen too many horror movies to know how these all begin. It kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah, an old rusty shed. An old shed in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. This never ends well for the people that go out with cameras and flashlights, does it? Yeah. See all this moisture in the grass? This means that they're going to be out and about tonight. It's a really good sign, yes. So there's more than one? There will definitely be more than one. But all it's gonna take is one to find out how bad the bite is. What was that? Did you hear that? No, not your foot. Oh. It sounded like rocks knocking together. What does that mean? That's actually a definitive sign of a Sasquatch calling. Well, that's not what we're after tonight. The odds of us seeing Bigfoot, slim to none. If we do see one, we're gonna film it. But we wanna get to the river, and I can hear it from here. Come on, just over this ridge. Ooh, this is creepy. It's like a beach. There's the water. I thought I heard something, sorry. I saw all kinds of reflective eyes. All right, I need a big flat rock. To defend ourselves with? No. To look under. Oh. Not there. Okay, let's venture up this way a little bit. No, nothing. Oh! It's a Helgramite! Oh, mackerel! That's a big one, too. Whew. Wow. All right, guys. Well, if you remember an Instagram post I made a few weeks ago of a creature that looked... Ah! It's biting me! Okay, they do bite. There you have it. Everybody want to know, do they bite? Yes, they do bite. It is latched onto my finger right now. Oh, that hurts. But... It's not breaking skin. That's, uh, oh, ah. Ooh, it's got a hold of me. Now, the Helgramite 
Can you see it okay there? Oh yeah. It's got a hold of me. The Helgramite is actually the larva stage of the Dobson fly. Now the Dobson fly, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, well, is that maybe some beautiful butterfly type creature? No, it's about as wicked looking as this thing is, only with big wings and enormous front mandibles. However, those mandibles aren't strong enough to pinch and bite onto anything like the larva stage. Now I'm gonna turn it slightly like this. Wow, oh, it is just latched. <sighs> Now, if the bite isn't enough, what they will also do to deter a predator is squirt a nasty smelling musk from their rear end. And it actually smells just like human feces and- Ew, what? It smells oh, like, it smells like- Oh, like poop, exactly like poop. Ugh. And it has already squirted musk all over my finger. Oh, it absolutely stinks. Ah, 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 ah. Biting down harder. That is about the most alien looking creature I think I have ever come across. Like something out of the show Stranger Things. Ugh. Okay, it's been latched onto my finger for a while now, and what I'm gonna do is just gently dip it into the water. Now they are semi-aquatic, so putting in the water isn't gonna cause any issues, but I do wanna get it off of my finger. All right, here, try this. I'm just gonna set it down gently. So just like I get crayfish off of me. Oh, he's not letting go. Let go. Ow! Oh, it's biting out harder. Ow! There it goes. Got it. Okay. Ah! Oh, bit me again. Man. Ah, there we go. Can't catch a break. Okay. Now let's take a good look at the anatomy of this creature. Look at that underside. Wow, that is gnarly. This is like a mix between a scorpion, a centipede, a water bug, and a tremor. Wait, look at its snout. That was on your finger. Yeah, those front mandibles right there, can you see that? Those were latched onto my finger. Yes. And these two back appendages there have hooks on them, just like the rear hooks on a centipede. Ooh. See that, how they move backwards? Ow! No! Ah, he's got me right underneath the fingernail. I'm gonna hold him there, though. All right, now he's hooked onto me. Oh, there, let go. There, look at that. Oh, wow, that is so bizarre. I don't know how you're leaving this. Ow, oh, it's like an alien. Ah! Ugh. Oh, it has all these little hooks on its arms. Just the way it moves. Ugh. It like slinks. What did I tell you? It's like a night, a living nightmare. Look at that. Oh, it's hooked onto me. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Can you imagine what it would be like to have one of these things crawl into your ear? It's gonna eat your brain. No, 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 no! Ow! Ah! Ah! Ooh, that actually really hurts. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! Looks pretty good, dude. I think it's actually poked a hole in my ear. Ah! Ow! What do you guys think? Helgamite earrings? Could this be the new look? <laughs> no. Is it dangling down from my ear? Oh, yeah. Ah! Here, can you turn to the... Oh, my gosh. Hold on, hold it there. What if it went in your brain? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got to get it off my ear. Ugh. Now... Oh! Ooh! Wow, your ears are a lot softer than your finger. Mmm, that hurts. So at this point, I pretty much just have to wait for it to drop off on its own. So you can't just take it off? Well, if I touch it or pull on it, it's going to just bite down harder. All right, let's, uh, do you want me to try to get it off? Uh, let me see. Ooh. Ow! Oh, let's see it, show me your ear. Oh, wow, yeah. Is it bleeding? It's got a good crease, there's a little white speck. Ouch. Well, I would say that this without question is the creepiest looking creature that we have come across here in West Virginia. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. <laughs> Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. All right, back under your rock, little creeper. Oftentimes, we fear things that have a creepy and alien-looking appearance. Even I'll admit, the moment I found my first Helgramite, I was incredibly nervous to pick it up, especially with that set of intimidating mandibles. However, in the end, I think what we all learned is that while this creature may look intimidating, it's non-venomous, and its bark is far worse than its bite. Do you know what's creepier than one Helgramite? 25 Helgramites. <laughs>
What's that for? Well, what Mark doesn't know is that earlier today, when I was down by the river and I found the first Helgramite, I also found 25 of them. And I'm gonna make Mark put his hand in this bowl full of them. Hey, Mark. Really? Well, that's cool. So you know how early we started this and I was like, hey, you know what I found today? Mm -hmm. Something really gross. Yeah, I know, the Helgramite. Yeah, the Helgramite, them. right? And that was super gross. Well, I kind of didn't tell you the whole truth. Okay. I found one Helgramite. And then I kept flipping over rocks and I found 25 Helgramites. Dude. <laughs> so what I challenge you to do right now Oh my gosh, you really did. Is put your hand into this bowl and see if you get bitten by a No, no, no. Yeah, come no, on. No. I got Guys, stung by a bullet on. ant. Come on. I was stung by a bullet ant, and I just want you to put your hand in there for 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Yeah, you guys always tell me, can you last for 60 seconds? Can you last for 60 seconds with your hand in a bowl of Helgramites? Ooh. I'll count it down for you, ready? Wait, who signed me up for this? I didn't agree to this. No, well, you know, Mario and I were kind of like, you know, it would be really fun getting Mark finally bitten by something. <laughs> and it's not that bad. I was even bitten on the ear and it didn't oh, break skin. Let me see these. One, two, three, four. There's 25 yeah, there's of them. There's definitely 25 in there. That's so gross. Okay, so you, you know what the line is, right? Uh, no, I don't. What is the you line? You gotta say your name, <laughs> and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the Helgramite. And then you gotta just place one of your hands in there and let them crawl all over you for 60 seconds. I don't know, man. I mean, do you sure you don't want me to film this? Mario, come on. No, 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 <laughs> put you here. Give me your camera. All right, you're, gonna, take... fil you're gonna film it? I'm not gonna film it, just so you don't drop your camera right, in case let, you get let bitten. Put it down. Yeah, let, let's, get it, let's get ourselves situated. Get on the ground, we'll have a little setup. And we're gonna do this just like a normal scene here. All right, I did find a, a millipede thing. Did you? Yeah, it's good. Uh, we don't care that you found a millipede. We care about you getting bitten by Helgramites. Do you have a good shot? Yeah. I was kind of hoping you'd say no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, Coyote Pack. Mark is going to do it. Okay. Director of Breaking Trail is going to enter the bite zone. Okay. I'm Director Mark, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with 25 helmets. All right. I can't watch this. Put your hand in there. Come on. One, two, three. Yeah, in there. Oh, it's so creepy. <laughs> All up on you there. Oh, they're pooping on you. Ah, just got bit. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. Keep your hand in there. Keep your hand in there. All the way in the bowl. All the way in the bowl. That's about 30 oh, seconds. There's another bite. Oh, there's another one bite. See my finger. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, they're biting me. Dude. Ah. Three, two. It actually does hurt. One. All right, let him out. Ah. Oh, oh, hold on. oh, look at that. It's latched onto him. Let me get it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Now smell oh, your hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mario, smell my hand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there oh. you had it. Good job, buddy. I'll give you a stinky oh, high five. I'm like, I'm like shaking, man. That's it like hurts that. a little bit, right? No, it's just super, super creepy. <laughs> I saw that one really got the yeah. side of your finger pretty good. Oh, they're biting me. Oh man. Well, well, we're gonna let all these little Helgramites go back off into the wild and they're going to metamorphosize into Dobson flies. And then they're gonna be flying everywhere. Absolutely. Ugh. I think right. I just got some of that in my eye. Ugh. All right, guys, I gotta wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Here they go. Look at them go. If you thought being bitten by the Helgramite was nerve wracking, make sure to go back and watch the episode where a soul puget chomped on my finger. Yikes. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location.